Cleaning away blemishes and flecks from skin and from faces is one of Photoshop's bread and butter functions. Now the tools that you've got to do this you'll find in the toolbox under the Band-Aid icon. They are the spot healing brush, the healing brush and the patch tool. We'll have a look at all three of these. The patch tool, you'll find that there's a separate tutorial that goes into a lot more depth on how to use this. That's the tattoo removal tutorial, which you'll also find here at the tutorial bucket site. But we will have a quick look at the patch tool in this tutorial as well. Now I'll start with the spot healing brush. Spot healing brush, very neat point and shoot tool. All you need to do is to find a little spot that needs to be fixed, point to it, click one time, and you get your repair. It's that simple. It's very nice for this sort of job, but you can't depend on it for everything because there are certain things it's not very good at, and those would be for large areas where you might have to paint. Now, if I try to paint out, for example, a little bit of line over here, ugh, that's not real good because it's picking up some of these shadows from another part of the eye. Why is this happening? Well, the way all of these healing brush tools is they, they work like cloning tools. So they're taking a sample from elsewhere on the image. With the spot healing brush, it's taking a guess using a thing called proximity matching. You'll find this up on the settings bar at the top. These settings, by the way, are the standard ones for this tool. I'd suggest leave most of these alone. They generally do a pretty good job. But uh, it doesn't do a great job when you're near something that's got a very mark difference in texture or color. So I'll just undo that. Now the tool you want to use for something with more control is you want to go to the full blown healing brush tool. Why do you want to do this? Well the healing brush tool allows you to choose a sample. It allows you to choose the area of skin to be used to replace the area to be repaired. So here's how we go. I'll just adjust the size of my brush a little bit bigger here. So I'm going to paint out all of this and I'll take my sample from about here and to make my sample on a PC you hold down the Alt key on the Mac you're holding down the Option key you click one time with the mouse let go of the Alt key, Option key and you're ready to go you start by painting by clicking and holding down the mouse and just dragging across the lines and blemishes to be repaired. Now it looks pretty strange while you're doing this but don't worry that's because it hasn't yet applied the blending effects. Let go of the mouse and it then blends in the sample that you've taken. Now it's pretty good it does a pretty good job most of the time but here is a real power user trick. This also applies for the spot healing brush. As soon as you let go of the mouse go to the edit menu you'll find that there is a fade option will appear on that menu for the healing and spot healing brush tools. Why do you want to do this? Well, it brings up this opacity slider, which when you drag it all the way down to zero, allows you then to apply the amount of the repair to an exact amount according to your own personal taste. So I only want to take out, let's say, about 75 to 80 percent maybe even a bit less. I think it looks a bit more natural if you leave just a hint of the original lines otherwise it looks too smooth. This is my opinion, do it your own way. But this gives you the freedom to choose and say OK. So this is before the repair and that's after the repair. It's a pretty impressive little function. Now the other tool that we can use is the patch tool. Now the patch tool, I'll just turn back on my layer, can be used to repair large areas in a hurry. Again, this is covered in depth in the tattoo removal tutorial, but the quick demonstration of this tool, you'll find it in the toolbox underneath the healing brush tools. It works like this. You use this like the lasso tool. In fact, it really is the lasso tool. You make a selection of an area that has a problem. In the settings at the top you decide how it's going to function. To source, destination, transparent or use pattern. The ones I'm interested in for this quick demo are the source and destination. Source means that the patch, the repair, is going to be applied to the area that you've selected with the patch lasso. If you use destination it behaves in the opposite way. It means you've selected an area of clean skin and you then drag it over to patch that area. But I'll stick with source first. We'll have a look at it both ways anyway. So you go inside the area that you've selected 
and you drag. And as you can see, it shows you the area that's going to be substituted. When you've got the texture the way you like it, you let go of the mouse button and it then applies the repair. Now once again, you need to go to the Edit Fade Patch selection. Drag it all the way back down and then dial in the exact amount of repair that you actually want to apply. So I'll again use about 70% I think will be plenty for this one and say OK. Remember, it's worthwhile doing this because you preserve some of the original skin texture, which makes the repair look that much more genuine. Now, the selection is still around it. Well, that's because the patch tool is, in fact, just making a regular selection. So you can use the select, deselect to turn that repair off. So there we are. That's the before and that's the after. Now, the other way of using the patch tool is to change it to destination. Now by destination, and I'll just undo this so I get back my original, is to work by selecting destination from the settings box and then you select an area of clean skin with the lasso tool from the patch and you then drag that to the area to be repaired. Then you let go of the mouse cross your fingers and it applies the repair. Now this being a selection error you can turn off the little marching ants for the selection by using Control or Command H just to hide that and then going once again to the edit menu and fading the selection. And I think you'll find for this sort of repair once again you don't need all of it. I think I'll just set to about 60% for this and done. So those are the healing tools in the healing brush, spot healing brush and patch tool toolbox.